Create a dotted brush and learn three ways to use your newly created brush on your next digital project. Here is a preview of what we will be creating together. I will be showing you how to create a dotted brush and three different ways to use it. This video is being filmed in expert mode of Photoshop Elements, but the instructions are exactly the same for Adobe Photoshop except where noted. Begin by opening a new document in your preferred scrapping size at 300 pixels per inch with a white background. I have opened a 4 by 6 inch document for a greeting card. Press the letter D to reset the color chips to the default of black over white. Now let's create the dotted brush. Get the brush tool. In the tool options, open the brush picker. Click on the drop down menu and choose default brushes. Choose a hard round brush. Photoshop users will find the hard round brush in the general brushes. If you cannot see the names of the brushes, click on the flyout menu and choose large list. Set the size of your brush to 15 pixels, the opacity to 100% and the mode to normal. Open the brush settings, set the fade to zero, the hue jitter to 0%, the scatter to 0%, the spacing to 170%, the hardness to 100% and the roundness to 100%. Photoshop users, please refer to the manual for the settings. Now that we have created the brush, what can we create with it? Let's start by creating a scribble. In the Layers panel, click on the Create a New Layer icon. Double click directly on the name of the new layer and rename it Scribble. Press Enter or Return to commit the change. On the document, Click and drag back and forth in a scribble motion. Use the scribble element as an anchor behind the focal point of your page. This is how I use the scribble as an anchor on my card. Another way to use this brush is to create a dotted line. In the Layers panel, click on the visibility icon of the scribble layer to hide it. Click on the Create a New Layer icon. Double click directly on the name of the new layer and rename it Line. Press Enter or Return to commit the change. On the document, hold down the Shift key and click and drag a line of dots. Holding the Shift key while clicking and dragging will ensure a precise horizontal or vertical line. Here is a card I made with a dotted brush as a dotted line. I added a straight line of dots under my sentiment to emphasize it. The third way to use this brush is to create a dotted insect trail. In the Layers panel, click on the visibility icon of the Line layer to hide it. Click on the Create a New Layer icon. Double click directly on the name of the new layer and rename it Trail. Press Enter or Return to commit the change. On the document, click and drag a whimsical curvy line. Here is a card I made with the dotted brush as an insect trail. I added a butterfly trail of dots to my card for a fun, whimsical touch. For even more options, fill the scribble, line, or trail with color. In the Layers panel, click to activate either the scribble, line, or trail layer. If the layer is not visible, click on the visibility icon to reveal it. Hold down the Control key, that's the Command key on a Mac, and click on the thumbnail of the active layer to get a selection outline. Click on the foreground color chip to open the color picker. In the color picker, choose a new color. I'm going to choose red. Then click OK. Press Alt Backspace, that's Option Delete on a Mac, to fill a selection with the new color. Then press Ctrl D, that's Command D on a Mac, to deselect. After you are finished with your project, reset your brush settings so the next time you use the brush tool, you won't be surprised with a dotted brush instead of the default brushes. Get the brush tool. In the tool options, click on the brush settings. Set the spacing to 25%. Photoshop users, please refer to the manual for the settings. Here is a page I created using the dotted brush as a scribble behind my photo and as straight lines. I added the dots to the frame and a line of dots under the word art. I love the repetition it adds to my design. For a free PDF version of this video, click on the download link and then make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This has been Carla Shute from Digital Scrapper, the very best place on the web to find complete and professional instruction for digital scrapbooking. We help you get your stories told.